So I'm probably the last person on the planet that's talking about this trailer right now on YouTube, and I gotta say that I'm not actually that hyped for this movie. Now don't get me wrong, I am looking forward to this movie. I mean, it's Star Wars. Anything Star Wars I'm looking forward to, but I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant in this video, and we'll talk about the trailer, and as well as the Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer that just got released, but I just wanted to talk about it and say that I think that it really hurt Star Wars that they've annualized it as a franchise, because... I just don't feel like it's an event anymore. I'm not, like, hyped for it like I usually was, like, with The Force Awakens or or with Rogue One or anything like that, because now they're coming out every year. Like, they're, it's obvious Disney's really milking this for money, so that's disappointing, and I'm just not as hyped for this movie as I want to be, but that's just how I feel. That, does, that doesn't mean, though, I'm not looking forward to it, because this trailer looks great. It poses a lot of questions. We got to hear Luke Skywalker. We got to see Kylo Ren with his badass face scar. I'm surprised how much I like Kylo Ren. And I'm really excited to see how Rey's going to progress. That's one of the criticisms I had once the hype kind of died down for Force Awakens that although I really liked Rey, I felt like she was a little bit too perfect. So I think that they're going to explain a lot of that in this movie because they said they're going to go into her backstory. So that's good. I'm really excited for that. Also, I'm not worried with this movie that it's going to have a lot of repeat like Episode 7. And I say that because J.J. Abrams did that a little bit with his Star Trek movies. Is that there was a lot of repeat from the original Star Trek movies. And while I do love his newer Star Trek movies, I think that with a different director and Carrie Fisher even having some input on the story, which is really exciting, we're going to get something that's a lot more original with this movie. So, I'm really excited for that. We get to see a lot of, like, great clips. Again, they're not showing us any of the story other than, you know, what we can, like, piece together that's happening after Force Awakens, which is great. That's good marketing. I hope that we don't see a whole bunch of trailers. They they need to market this just like they did with The Force Awakens. Like, you know, they don't show any of the story, and I am perfectly okay with that. The special effects look even better. It looks like we might get some good space battles in this movie, too, because I didn't think Force Awakens had the best space battle. I thought that Rogue One finally gave us a good space battle. I don't think we've really had a good one since Return of the Jedi, so I'm really excited for that. I really want to see where they're going to go with this whole end of the Jedi thing, because Luke, I think, has come to the realization that in order to have balance with the Force, you can... If you're going to bring balance to the Force, you can have both the light and the dark side in you as long as you use it to, like, you know, for there's going to be no, no Sith, no Jedi, just nothing. And that's how the Force will be balanced. And then maybe Luke will say something like, the Jedi will come back when the galaxy needs them. The Sith will be there when the galaxy needs them and kind of, like... Open up new doors. I want them to explore more of the, you know, maybe that the dark side really isn't evil. It's just how you use it. Maybe the light side isn't really good. It just depends on how you use it. So I really want them to explore these different avenues. I'm really excited to see Luke Skywalker. It's going to be hard seeing Carrie Fisher on there knowing that she's gone. You know, I, I miss her already, but I heard that, you know, she's going to have a big part in this movie. They got all her... The scenes film, so I'm not worried about them like CGIing her in the movie or anything like that. The only thing I'm really disappointed about, though, is that I heard Lando Calrissian will not be in this movie, but hopefully Billy D. Williams just lied about that and said like, you know, oh, I'm not gonna be in the movie, but hopefully like he has this badass intro in the movie. Like he needs to be in it. Like he needs to come in at some point. Hopefully they can uh, convince the actor who played Wedge Antilles because I know he said he didn't want to reprise his role in Episode Seven to come back. So. Yeah, I'm really, I am looking forward to this movie. I'm just not hyped for it. So, yeah. I'm, I, what else can I say? It's Star Wars. I'm excited. I have a lot of videos planned that I'm actually going to put up this year for in anticipation for this. Um, yeah. What else can I say? It's Star Wars. Now, let's talk about Star Wars Battlefront 2, though. Um, I was a huge fan of Battlefront 2 as a kid, um, and the first Battlefront. I, I love those games on the PlayStation 2, on the PC, you know, I still have my uh, copy of Battlefront 2 on the PC that I mod and play all the time, Battlefront 2 Extreme Mod and the Conversion Pack. I love that game, and I still play it. Now, I don't have any next-gen consoles or a PC that's uh, powerful enough to play the new Battlefront, so I played it at a friend's house, I played it with, you know, a couple of my friends, so... I don't have it, so I didn't play it avidly, but I don't think I would have bought it because mainly because it just had the Civil War, and although the Civil War is my favorite era of Star Wars, um, I think it, it, was, it just felt like that game was missing a lot. And from what it sounds like, EA 
to their credit, because uh, I know they're notorious for microtransactions and season passes, things like that. They've done that with uh, Battlefield, because Battlefield is one of my favorite franchises. That uh, they've, they've done that to death, especially with Battlefield 4. But I feel like they finally listened to you know the critiques of the fans. They're going to give us a single player. They're going to give us more heroes. They're not going to nickel and dime us. There's no season pass. So I'm excited, and I might buy a PS4 just for this game. I hope that it's not rushed. I don't think it'll be rushed. Like cause That was one of the big problems with the other Battlefront game. I think it was really rushed just to go come out alongside Force Awakens. So this one looks like they're taking more of their time on it. Uh, looks like we're going to get a good story. I hope we have like a 6 to 10 hour story not just like a three or four hour story like we get with a lot of like regular shooters i want to get a longer story with this one so i'm really excited for it looks like we get battles from rogue one the prequels the uh, original trilogy and the new trilogy so i'm really excited for that and what else can i say it's, it's more star wars so i'm excited um not hyped but excited so that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. And may the force be with you. Thanks for watching.